at six or seven years old, you're out in the field. Uh, so I was, my job was to haul gunny sacks. When we were picking potatoes, uh, there would be a big pile of gunny sacks and they would be dragged them from, from the pile over to, to where the workers were. You know, there, there's 10 kids in a family, so we had our own little work crew. Yeah. So every spring, you know, the family would go up Midwest to work in the fields and I would go with them and every year we'd go back to Texas when the season was over. And um, that changed uh, later on in, in our lives when my dad decided not to come back to Texas anymore. We would just go return back to Oklahoma. We, we got there at the time when we were uh, picking cotton. And then uh, the farmer says, why don't you just stay in this house here? There's no electricity in it. You can, you can stay there all you want for year round. Um, things got a little difficult because, you know, then there was no more work. So what we had to do is survive from December to April where there's no, no money. So by the time spring would come, you know, we were anxious to move north because we wanted to earn money and then you know, eat again. Uh, I remember one experience with one of the field men and a, and a grower that was not very nice. Uh, they were putting us into chicken coops. Uh, they had not really been cleaned very well. Uh, they were giving us the, 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 the worst fields that they could give us to us. Uh, so I found out that, you know, they, um, we needed to have some strong advocacy for migrant families because my family went through that experience more than once. When UMAS was created, it was created by a number of religious groups. So it has a faith-based beginnings. Uh, and then later on, as we were working with farmers, we began to see through the process that we, had, we were providing holistic services to the population we're serving, that other populations that have the same, same or similar needs could benefit from that. That's why we decided to, to diversify the organization. Uh, we started off uh, in the very beginning with one grant to serve uh, migrant season farm workers. Uh, now we have over 50 grants and we provide uh, a variety of services of basic education, job placement, training. We do uh, child care. Um, we also provide uh, domestic violence. We do human trafficking. Uh, when I took over the administration, I said, we need to provide services to everyone that needs services. And in order to do that, we need to seek funding that would be appropriate for those services. So one of the things that, I, that, that I've done is that I always tell people that people who work for me in my administrative offices don't walk, they run. That means I work seven days a week. I never turn my phone off. You know, so we, we're never, we're, we're never uh, just sit still for any time. There was constant movement. And that's what the organization does to be able to survive.